Live yet? We'll go ahead with that. Okay, we are live here in Noblesville, Indiana at Always in Stooges. And look what we're focused on. Something for Memorial Day. Look at this. It's really simple to do. It's a panel. Come down here and show them the panel, Peter. It's just a nice... Um, panel of words that celebrate the season. You know, we've got Memorial Day, we've got Labor Day, we've got uh, 4th of July. So red, white, and blue, here we are, and we've got you covered. Now this would be a really fun weekend project that you could do this weekend while you're watching the race, right? Yeah, because who doesn't want to sew while everybody's on yellow? You know, I mean, they just hold up everything, that yellow, and they just go slow and slow. You might as well be sewing, right? That's what I think. So anyway, we've got the line uh, to go with this panel, and we've got everything you need to make that uh, small little blanket there. Uh, it could be a lap quilt. It could be a baby blanket. It could be a fun blanket to take to a, a picnic. You know, anything like that where you uh, need just something really small and sweet to tuck in uh, somewhere. And uh, I think it'd be good for the race. You could still pay attention. It's not many seams. And uh, have it all cut out before Sunday and ready to sew. So I think that's good. We've got the line of fabric down here. And then we have the same line of fabric in flannel. Thank you. Did you realize that this was uh -huh. flannel? Uh huh. Isn't that nice? And then we also look at this neat tote bag. And it's a panel. So, like, how simple is that? You know, when you're going to the race or when you're out on a picnic. Why am I always th focusing on a picnic today? I'm on. Because this is the time of year when we go on picnics. It is the time of the picnic year, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. Um, I've not been on a picnic yet, have you? Uh-uh. This year? No, I was on a picnic in the parking lot this morning when I ate my breakfast. No, that's the truck, food truck. Oh, that's right. That's yeah. my food truck. <laughs> that's your food truck experience. <laughs> I forgot my food truck. If, you, if it was a picnic experience, you'd have to be out on the lawn. Well, maybe I'll take a quilt and put it out on the lawn to yeah, eat my breakfast. Yeah, I wonder if they're having anything at Symphony on the Prairie tonight or this weekend. Oh, I don't for know. For the Memorial Day weekend. I don't know. I don't know. I'll have to check out on the uh, Google or their... Uh, Hi, Barbara. Face. Hi, Barbara. Nice to have you. So anyway, this is a fun collection. Come in and check it out. But we've got more. We've got more. Come over here, Peter. You have more in your picnic basket? Oh, well, I've got some flags. Look at this. this is the We ordered gobs of these kits. Gobs of them. I don't know how many are gobs, but we ordered a lot. And this is the only one we have left. Can you believe it? Last one. Oh, my gosh. And it makes such a beautiful quilt. Let's open it up. Look at the quilt it makes. I love this quilt. I, I do so too. Beautiful. Isn't it pretty? And it uses all these beautiful red, white, and blue fabrics right. that we have. What a lovely Valor quilt too. If you have somebody who's been in the service and you wanted to. Hey, speaking of picnic baskets, look, oh, look, look, what, look what Boo Boo has. Look. What do you have in your picnic hey, Boo -Boo. basket? Hey Boo Boo, it's time to get a picnic basket. Okay, these are the best. Oh, I love your shirt by the way. Thank you. This is a cooler. Talking a picnic basket. It's Memorial Day weekend. $27.99. Really? These are... It's these a cooler? Are, okay. But what do you mean it's a cooler? Well, it's cool. It's cool and it's cooler. So you can put your, your stuff to go to the beach. Go to the race. It's the insulated race. is what she's trying to tell you. Yeah, but watch, 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 watch. So let's say, you know, you don't want to like take it right away. You just put it and it folds all up. And oh, it stores it folds the flat. Lid. I can fold it oh, under my seat that. in the truck. You can put it under my seat in the truck. You know what this would be great for, too? It's like when you go to Costco or the grocery store yes. and you can't get yes. home right away. Your ice cream. You don't want your and ice cream to melt. And you don't want everything to melt in the trunk of when, the car? When you put the lid on, this uh -huh. so, it's solid enough you can sit on this. Nah, uh well, I'm not going to try it out. Bonnie can I'm not going to try okay, I'm gonna not going to try Let's either. Let's Paige, Paige over here. can sit on it. <laughs> Bonnie could sit on yeah, it. Yeah, okay. Paige went hiding. could sit on it. Okay. All the employees went hiding. One of the employees are running and hiding. But these we have. These are the best. Excellent. I know. It's you can even applique something on there. Well, I suppose you could. Use you know. applique something on there. That'd be Fuse, so yeah. pretty. So anyway, we have picnic baskets. 
See? Yep. I knew there was a reason why I was talking Yogi about picnics. And, Yogi and Boo Boo, right here. Yeah, right we here. Have a picnic basket. Which one am I? Um, I'm taller. I decided to be Yogi. Okay, you be Yogi. I'll be Boo Boo. Boo Boo. Boo Boo. Boo Boo. Yeah, Boo Boo. <laughs> Get a picnic basket. <laughs> okay, how okay, much? How much are they again? They're twenty seven ninety nine. That is awesome. I know it's the best. I mean, I I think this would be a year around thing. It is. I'm just not just picnic to... time. Picnic basket. Okay, that's it. Very nice. Photo bomb done. Good. Good for the um the. Uh, Symphony on the Prairie or to take to the race. Are they letting you carry things into the race this year? There for oh, a while they weren't letting oh, you carry things I don't know. in. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know either. But anyway, let's get back to this yeah. line of fabric by uh, uh, Lisa Bonjean. Hi, how are you? She is doing on Facebook, I believe it's Facebook or YouTube, one or the other, a uh, sew along. And all you need is one of the fat quarter bundles of this line of fabric. This line of fabric is called American Gatherings. And it just so happens that we have packaged the fat quarter bundles. So if you are in need, I know they're scarce. They're hard to find out there. If you're needing one, we, we've got you covered. They're right here. And uh, we've got a jelly roll left. I mean, there's just not much left here. We've got a couple of these charm packs and a couple of the layer cakes. This is a picture of my friend Lisa right here. She's from uh, Wisconsin. She designs for Moda. And she put out this book to go along with this line of fabric, American Gathering, same name as the fabric line. but. Uh, the book is chock full of all kinds of patterns. Oh, that one's up on the wall, isn't it? Right up I here? I don't know. Isn't that one in the oh, book? Oh, is that it? Yeah, it is. I think it, it is. is. So this is one of the quilts that's in that book. No, it's not, because that it says, is. Oh, My Star. Oh, yeah, American yeah. Gatherings. You're right. It's the pattern, Oh, My Stars oh, in American Gatherings. Oh, I just Gathering. love it when Peter's right. Okay. Well, it's just got, it's got everything from really simplistic uh, piecing and then it's got one of these real challenging star things. That's pretty intense, but I think it's beautiful. And then back here, look at this. Ooh. This is with hexes, and look, the hexes are already cut. Oh, no cutting. You ha All you have to do is sew them together. It's nice. amazing. Or you could turn them under and just applique them on. You could use um, foundation papers like English paper piecing, and you could fold the uh, fold the seam allowance underneath and applique them on, or you could just sew them right directly on. You could put some fusible web on them and make them like a, um, like a, what do you call that, where it's a raw edge applique. So I think that's, that's gonna, that would be a fun, fun project. Then in the back of the book, it's got wool projects. Look at this beautiful, um, Look at that wool mat. Isn't that beautiful? And we do have all her wools back there. So come and check that out. We have them in all sizes. And then here's all the patterns in the back. But anyway, isn't that just lovely? I just think that is so pretty. And um, then, staying with the same theme over here, we're feeling so patriotic. I didn't wear patriotic. Should have. I didn't think of it this morning. We've got this kit. My old Navy t-shirt's in the yeah. wash. Oh, darn. Were you in the Navy? No, it's Old Navy, the clothing store. I kind of knew that, Peter. I was okay. just pulling your leg. Okay, I didn't okay. know if you knew or not. <laughs> okay, so this is One Land, One Flag. Another good uh, Valor quilt, because look, it's just got all kinds of representation. Oh, have we got a glare? Yeah, there we go. It's gone. It's got the Liberty Bell and the Lady Liberty. What's her name? Statue, uh, Statue of Liberty. Uh, the Capitol building. Just, you know, some really... Oh, look, there's some fireworks. Ooh, I'm looking forward to fireworks this year. So that's one of our uh, patriotic kits. Another one of our patriotic kits, which, you know, this one goes really fast because it's nine patches with a star, and uh, then it's got this beautiful uh, panel in the middle, and it's by Deb Strain, 
And uh, it's America the Beautiful. What more is there to and say, it's two, right? It's two projects. You got this one here and then this little mini guy. And is the, what is this? A table runner, maybe? It's uh, 36 by 48. And wow. And there's one that's 50 by 22. That's this and that's yeah. that. Oh, how fun. Oh, yeah, there it is. Very nice. Okay. And I love these little boxes they're putting them in. And then here's the collection that supports those kits right here. Oh, here's an eagle. Look at that. That's really patriotic, I'm telling you now. Here's the peace sign. We all are praying for peace, of course. There's your peace sign. So, the moral of this story is, I hope you have a great Memorial Day. The moral, memorial, oh my goodness. I'm so full of myself. Anyway, I hope you have a great Memorial Day weekend. And uh, for all those who served in the military, we really want to acknowledge their service and show how thankful we are and really that we are so blessed that we live in a country that uh, stands for freedom. So uh, have a great weekend. Eat a hot dog or a hamburger or a sausage or something. But or a veggie burger. Veggie burger, whatever it is that you like to eat on Memorial Day weekend. Or a big slab of steak. But make sure you put it in a picnic basket. Thanks. Bye.